Well, welcome families to another day of family daily devotions in lockdown. Well, we are up to the next part of our Exodus story. Exodus chapter 1, verse 8 to 14. But before I read it out loud to us, I have something here. I have a paper chain. I want you to think of why I would have a paper chain as we read the next part of Exodus together. So why don't you go grab a Bible and read it with me. Exodus chapter 1, verse 8. Then a new king began to rule Egypt. He did not know who Joseph was. This king said to his people, Look, the people of Israel are too many, and they are too strong for us to handle. We must make plans against them. If we don't, the number of their people will grow even more. Then, if there was a war, they might join our enemies. Then they could fight us and escape from the country. So the Egyptians made life hard for the people of Israel. They put slave masters over the Israelites, and the slave masters forced the Israelites to build the cities of Pithom and Ramesh for the king. Uh, these cities were supply centers in which the Egyptians stored things. The Egyptians forced the Israelites to work even harder, but this made the Israelites grow in number and spread more. So the Egyptians became more afraid of them. They forced the Israelites to work even harder, and the Egyptians made life hard for the Israelites. They forced the Israelites to work very hard, making bricks and mortar. They also forced them to do all kinds of hard work in the fields. The Egyptians were not merciful to them in all their hard work. Well, this next part of Exodus says that the Israelite nation had grown and grown and grown. They are getting so big and they are filling the land. Now, the Egyptians weren't happy at all about this. And Pharaoh, he did not like this at all. And so he made life really, really hard for the um, Israelite nation. He made it so hard that he made them slaves in Egypt and they had to work and work and work. They were slaves in Egypt. It was not looking good for God's people at all. This part of the Bible, in this part of Exodus, reminds me of another thing in the Bible. It reminds me that actually the Bible says that we are also slaves, slaves to our sin. And we need to be freed from our sin. Jesus, his death on the cross and his resurrection means that we are freed from sin. We are freed from being slaves to sin and freed into being part of God's family. Jesus has broken those chains of sin and we are made part of God's family. We are his children and we can live now under God's loving rule as his children. How good is that, that we are no longer slaves to our sin, but freed to be God's people, God's children living under his loving rule. Well, why don't we end today in prayer, thanking God for how he has freed us through Jesus on the cross, um, that we can come and be part of his family and live under his loving rule. Father, thank you so much for the book of Exodus, uh, that we can read it and uh, see um, your big salvation story throughout the whole Bible. I uh, thank you for the way that you have rescued us, that you have saved us from our sin, and you have freed us from the slavery of sin into your family. Help us to live as your children, freed from sin, um, free to live under your loving rule. Help us to do that today. Amen.